What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Y'all, I have so many videos to catch up on with these um, Pop the Balloons, but I promise you I will not be reacting to the full video. So let's just get into one of these videos. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Tyra. Tyra, how old are you? I'm 31. 31, okay. And what do you do? I'm an admin assistant for an HVAC company, okay. and I also do personal assistant. Nice, nice. All right. And now, what are some things you like to do for fun? For fun, I like to go hiking. I like to stay in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go clubbing. And really just, I like to work a lot. So okay. most of the time, I'm doing my personal assistant video. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go clubbing. And really just... I like to work a lot, so okay. most of the time I'm doing my personal assistant. She business. wasn't gonna want you in it. Okay. And now, what are some of your? Uh, uh, what are? He knew he was gonna be too short. You shorter than everybody on the lineup, sir. Things you look for in a man. I look for somebody who's emotionally mature. Okay. Um, somebody who has their shit together, knows what they want, and four, mainly four, 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 has a growth mindset. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, what are some deal breakers? Uh, they have to like dogs. Dogs? Yes. Okay. And you got a lot of dogs? No, I got two. Oh, you got two? Okay. Yeah. All right. They're not going nowhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and deal breaker, you have to have open communication. If you don't have open communication, you can't be trustworthy, then it's a deal breaker. Okay. Yes. All right. So we did get a pop balloon over here. Yes. So let's go on over here. If we can Hello, have your sir. name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 27. What's up, Tyra? How you doing? I wouldn't want to fuck with a nigga named Kim anyway. Kim? Can you imagine? Kim, can you uh, go get me something from the store? Kim? And did he say Kim? Doing. So we did get a pop balloon over here. Yes. So let's go on over here. If we can Hello, have your sir. name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 20. His name is Kim. 27. What's up, Tyra? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, yeah, so I popped the balloon because, honestly, like, I was supposed to go to lunch with her, like, last week. But she ain't hit your boy back. So, I mean, oh. I mean, like, oh, on to the next. Like, but she's, she's, she's like a winner. Damn. Like, she she cool. Damn. We didn't know each other. She cool. You know what I mean? Damn! But that's why, yeah. Okay. All right, so. Yo, you a snitch! And then... What that got to do with them? Man, get y'all ass up out of there. I'm talking about Tyra. You. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you hit him back? What's going on? Honestly, it was a busy day. Mm -hmm. And as you know, I have a job and a business. So the communication wasn't there. And... I was gonna say that too. Exactly. You, you said it was communication. The communication deal wasn't there. You ain't even hit your boy back. Yeah, yeah but I didn't but feel it's like it's all good. Yeah. So. We still cool though. We still yeah, cool though. Probably regardless. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I still support it. <laughs> Dang no matter what. All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go over here if we can have your name and age. So I'm Day John, I'm thirty. Okay, Day John, why did we end up popping our balloon? She is so gorgeous, but like my man said, the communication part, you start off with the open communication. Mm -hmm. I love that. I need communication in my life. I love the communication, but when you say you didn't hit them back, if, I, if I'm busy, I'm going to make time enough to say I can't make it. That, that ain't open communication. I can't show up, You're or I'm right. going to give you a good excuse, you know what I'm saying? But A good excuse. Other than that, that's the only reason why. Absolutely. Okay. Now, is Day John someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? Um, he too light. Damn. I'm sorry. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Hey, but your styles. I appreciate you, though. I yeah, like you that. gorgeous, too. You I know. thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Dante. Uh, I'm 28. Um, the only reason I popped is because, you know what I'm saying, it's really the, the communication. You, you can't say, you know what I'm saying, I need open communication from y'all and then, you know, you... but I mean, hey, if it could have been something else, but I mean, at least relay. You know I what hate saying? the way you talk. If open means, you know, you're going to let me know, like, you know, so you're not you know, feeling your boy. So, I mean, yeah, that, other than that, like, aesthetic is nice. Putting little heels on, the tattoos going crazy. But, I mean, other than that, you know what I'm saying, it's just the communication. Okay. All right. How are we feeling him? He's cool. Okay. I like the swag, you know, everything. I mean, the swag don't really do it for me. It's, it's really cool. the personality. I really don't know you. So, appearance-wise, absolutely. 
Okay. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Very cool. Thank you. Let's go over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. So I'm Hendo. I'm 25. I ended up popping my balloon because he previously stated y'all were supposed to go out and you didn't have that form of communication with him. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what if the same shit happened with us? Like, Absolutely. I'm cool. Don't say us, nigga. Don't put me in this shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is Hendo someone that's your type? Absolutely not. Ooh. Okay, why not? Um, we the same height and heels. Damn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Let's go on over here. So was a big ear, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Lawan. I'm 27. It was just more the communication thing. Like you my speed for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like I kept my balloon. But you know, as my man said, y'all was supposed to go on a date and I, I got a business and I do a lot of things. Like I do that for real. So I feel you. So it's just more like, hey, let's just reschedule, let's rain check if you have availability because I'm a busy man too. So I might not have availability a week later. So we're gonna have to really like practice that communication. But other than that though, you solid. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. Is he your type? Definitely. Okay, what makes him your type? Um, he sounds like he's very articulate and he has his own business, so he has a growth mindset. He's not trying to be stagnant. So yes, absolutely, I would have said mm, we could figure some out. For <laughs> sure, so, I could dig um, that. Okay, cool, yeah. thank you. All right, so we do still have two balloons unpopped. Did you have a question to ask the guys? Go ahead and kind of help you narrow it down. Um, what are your goals for this year? Obviously, we're in May. Men are followers, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They followers, because she brought, she, we see why she did that to you. You know what I'm saying? But as a woman, we would only know that. She probably had another nigga that was way finer. Oh, that was fine, because brain fine. But a nigga that was fine, and she was like, mm, I'm going to do a rain check on that. Probably looked at that Instagram a little more and realized it wasn't looking that good. So she went with whatever other choice she had that day. You know what I'm saying? And you just didn't make the cut. She thought about it, but you didn't make the cut. So she decided to talk to somebody else. And now you following little pussies went with him. Whatever. Goals for this year. Obviously we're in May, so we don't have too much longer. So what are your goals for your personal and career? Okay. We'll start with your name and age and then the answer to her question. Yeah, my name is uh, Christian, 29. Uh, my goals for this year, my whole year, is just going to be focused on um, building my hours and uh, getting certifications, trying to fly planes, and uh, just eventually get my job uh, oh, as an airline pilot. So that's really all I'm focused on for the next almost one year from now. Oh, absolutely. Okay. He's going to be a pilot. He's chocolate. Soft-spoken. He's your man over here your name and age and the answer to her question so, he's short she doesn't want him 2028 um my goals for this year is to continue on expanding my business and um do my i, I got a trucking company that's in progress right now is to finish that out and everything so them pretty much my two goals for this year okay absolutely i hate men that will that don't look in my eyes when i'm talking to them like my daddy was real big on that look me in my eyes when i'm talking to you if, I, if anybody ever talked to you, look in their eyes. So I'll be like, hey. Mm -mm. So when them niggas be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm just working on my business and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, eventually, when my business become what it need to become and shit, I'm going to just try and, you know, handle the business that I need to handle or whatever because that's, that's what I want. I wouldn't want to deal with that shit. All right. And guys, do we have a question? She Go not looking? Oh, shit. How many, uh, do you have any kids at this moment in time? Or uh, how many would you like to have? You see he looking at her eyes. You see she looking back at his. That's because, oh, you're right. She wasn't interested in the other dude. True. 
Um, hold on, y'all. This heat hot as hell, boy. I have two furry kids. Uh, I'm yeah, yeah. He was quick. He was quick. My bad. He was quick. I have two furry kids. What kind of dog do you have? I have a Chihuahua. His name's Tank. Big cool. Tank. And I have a weenie dog mix. That's cute. His name's Rocco. That's cool. No kids. That's cool. I like that. Mm hmm I think you said, does she want to have kids? That was your other question? Yeah, that oh, yeah, was the yeah. other question, right? Yes, I do want to have kids. It'll be after two years from All now. That's right, fair, it's fair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very <Good> specific. <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? I'm no, sorry. do you have any questions for her? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, uh, how was the last She's looking. relationship? <sighs> Specifically, what are you asking? Like, and overall, like, how did it? Did it end like? Mm. All right, you too. Um, it ended with somebody not being honest about what he was doing, and I had to step out of the relationship because he wasn't honest. Okay. And we were together for four years, and I got proposed to, and I said no. After I said yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I mean, so did y'all like at least try to work out our differences? We tried to work it out for some year, some months, some months. We tried to work it out from July to December. Yes. Uh, are y'all still in uh, contact? We have a house together, so yes, we are still in contact because it's on Section Eight. What does that mean? <laughs> what does what does Section Eight have to do anything? <clears throat> I know they make a lot of money selling houses with Section Eight, y'all. It's a thing now. But she she should have been a little more clear on what's going on here. So as soon as I figure that out in September, that'll be no contact. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Do you have any Damn further questions there. before you go ahead and make your decision? Oh. oh! <laughs> Why did we end up popping? We end, I ended up popping because it's like she still have, you know, communication, you know, contact with her ex. So obviously it's still something there, still there. Mm. Or the business is still there, the house. Or, you know, they still have some type of strings attached that is Absolutely. still not fully. He took that as strings. Detached from each other. So yeah, title of a house. Absolutely. <laughs> That's hard to get off of you. Yeah. Very. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Thank you. He is a cute. I wouldn't <laughs> want him anyway. So we do have our one unpuffed balloon here. Yes. The, any final questions for either one of you before we go on up? How long ago was that last relationship? Like, you know, how long ago was, did everything end and a break apart, like a whole engagement? That's pretty serious. Very. Um, absolutely. Um, we broke up in July when I found out and um, I cut everything off, got my own car insurance, got everything underneath my own name in December. That's crazy. That's impressive. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and come on up here. Come on up. Okay. Any final questions before we determine if this is a match? Yes. Okay. Do you have any kids? Is that a deal breaker for you? I'm asking. <laughs> no, I have any kids. Just a dog, Barkley. Breed? Oh, uh, he's a giant poodle. Okay. He's like a 90 pound poodle. All right, do you have your own house? He's big as hell. No, nah, I live in an apartment, though. Apartment? Yeah. You have your own car? Yeah. Oh, okay. No more further questions. Okay, all right. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yeah, so yeah, she's real pretty. <gasps> yes! We got a match! Woo! Okay! Oh, like <laughs> all right, I'll go ahead and let you guys go on off. I'll take this mic. Thank you, Thank you guys for coming on. Thank go you. ahead. <laughs> Let's give it up for them, guys. <laughs> I don't know if she's interested or not. I can't really tell. She didn't never really ask if, if he was her type. And you could tell that man don't get pretty women. Pretty woman. He don't get pretty woman. Walking down the... He don't get pretty woman. Yeah, she really pretty. Oh, God.
Let's see if we can find another one. Let's see what this woman look like. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. What's your name? I'm Trinity. Uh -uh. Arts and crafts, paint, and wine night is okay. totally my thing. Now, what? I personally don't look at it like that. I. Luan, I'm 27. Okay, she looks like she's. Um, I like. Go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. Oh my gosh, this is such a tough decision. Okay. It ain't that tough. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Why do you end up popping his? Um. I do want kids personally. I do want to be with someone who has. Why are we saying no? I liked everything she was uh, saying, and I like how she was really adventurous, um, and she had a lot going for herself. Okay. But um, I was just trying to give her some time and mm -hmm. see if uh, she kind of warmed up on me. Um, I don't think our personalities would really mesh, um, so I didn't want to just waste any time. Mm. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> We got all the way to the end, and then you messed it up with my other dude. You bitch. What's your name? Hi, my name's Soraya. I'm 25 years old. Soraya, okay. And what do you do? I work in healthcare. Healthcare, okay. Yes. And what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to go to the gym, Pilates, interior design, what? painting, coffee shops okay stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> all right and now what are some things you look for in a man um a man of god first and foremost um i like a man who's healed um adventurous like me i'm very spontaneous um goal orientated goal driven mm -hmm. and funny because i like to laugh okay yeah. and now what are some of your deal breakers um i would say like a narcissist mm -hmm. Or like someone, yeah, I'd say a narcissist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have not got any pop balloons yet. <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> so for the first round, I am going to have you pop two guys' balloons. Okay. Just kind of based off of what's not really your type, what you're not really filling. So let me give you a toothpick. I don't got no type. Oh, there you go. Then oh, I'll like let this. you go ahead and pop those two. Then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> um... I know it's tough. Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, one more. All right, I'm let's sorry. start the first one you popped. So if we can have your name and age. Tony, 28. Okay, and Tony, why did you have your balloon um, unpopped? Because um, I just wanted to see what she was going to say. She's definitely a beautiful young lady, but I just wanted to see what she had to offer pretty much. Okay. All right. And why did we end up popping Tony's balloon? Um, you're very handsome. Thank I you. like taller men. That's it. You're very Thank handsome. You. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go to our next guy. If we can have your name and age. and I'm Hendo. I'm 25. Okay. And Hendo, why did you have your balloon left unpopped? So she said she like adventure, and that's something I'm into myself. Mm -hmm. So it's like at any moment we can just wake up and go do something, whether it be a day trip or just a random spontaneous date. Okay. So therefore, I was just like, okay, I'll see where it goes. I got it. Okay. And why did we end up popping? He's just a little too feminine, nervous, and some more shit for me. Up in Hendo's balloon. You're very handsome as well. Just I, I do like taller men. That's oh, you're very handsome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. All right, let's go back over here. So I'm going to have you <laughs> ask the remaining guys a question to go ahead and help us narrow it down. Okay. Okay, I'll start with you. Um, who are your role models in your life? Your name and age, and then who are your role models? My name is Caleb. I'm 27. And my role model would have to be my mom, um, hands down, just because uh, she's taught me a lot. He a mama's boy, pop it. Growing up. Um, and I haven't, I haven't met uh, a stronger woman than her. Uh, she raised me as a single mother, um, so that would be my role model. I love that. I also have a single mom, too, so I can relate to that. I love that. Okay. Okay. 
My name's Kim, I'm 27. Um, my role model, I would have to say, would be God. I don't know if that's like valid, but I just wanna move like a God, like a man of God, like, you know, somebody with integrity, somebody that, you know, stand on what they say they're gonna do. Um, yeah, so just move like a God, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my role model, really. Move like a God? Well, God is my role model, Okay. basically. How is God your role model? Like I said, like, um, I don't want to, I'm never going to be perfect, you know what I mean? But God is perfect. Like, he, you know what I mean? He, Pop this he nigga does balloon. what he says he's going to do. Uh, he makes mountains move, you know what I mean? He's a provider. He's on time. Like, and that's how I want to be. So that's who I, you know, just follow every day. I look to, towards God. I talk to him if I need any direction on anything. And I just ask him to lead me towards life, and I just follow. Okay. okay. Thank you. No doubt. All right, your name and age, and who's your role model? So I'm Dejon. I'm 30. Can I tell me? Uh, my role model is my father, a 23-year combat vet. Um, he's instilled in me more than I could ever imagine for any man that could, uh, to instill in me. I played sports growing up, coaches, all that kind of stuff like that. My father was just hands down, just the guy that I always wanted to be, always wanted to look up to. So my father, for sure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no Love doubt. that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right, let's go to our last guy over here. Name and age, and who's your role model? My name is Luan. I'm 27. My role model, my uncle, he showed me life early. Like, this is what it is. This is a lifestyle. He a boss, so, you know, he took me, you know. Like, he showed me Mexico. He showed me all kind of places, you know, how to, how to live a boss lifestyle. So that kind of motivated me to become a boss, to be like him. So, yeah, that's pretty much my lifestyle and my role model. Okay. Yeah. So how are you a boss? No, I own my own business. Too. It's kind of cute. Interns work for me. Okay. Or whatnot, and uh, working on building that and expanding that for sure. Okay. And so I, I refer myself as a boss and teaching them how to do business as well. And you know, I'm a real like example, you know, getting it from the mud. So I'm, I ain't had nobody pass nothing down to me. So I'm telling them like credit. I'm telling them about financial literacy. I'm teaching them about social skills because that's very important too. So, you know, I'm teaching them all kind of things to, to become a better version of themselves. So, yeah. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> okay, so give I'm it to him, friend. Give him the coach. I need to have you pop two balloons based off of what you've heard. Okay. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> okay, I'm and sorry. then one more. <sighs> this is hard. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay, oh, since I we're here, let's start here. Why do we end up popping his? I loved your answers. Um, I think it's just the style a little bit. Uh, and just like more like business casual. Okay. You said come as your best and like you went on a date. So leather jacket, jeans, tennis shoes, and it was a little casual for me. Okay. But I liked your answers, you're very handsome. Appreciate that. No problem. Appreciate that, yeah. All right, well, okay. then let's go to our I other popped balloon. Grow. Why do we end up popping his? <clears throat> um, she hated your God. I, I don't know, I just took from your answers, like you have like a God complex a little bit. Um, you said you wanted to be like God. I don't know how that's possible being like human and a mortal. I don't know. It kind of confused me a little bit. So, yeah. I feel it. Yeah. For Are sure. you very he confused his damn self. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hated his example. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys another question. Um, okay. Uh, what is your best emotional quality? Mm. That's a good question. Emotional quality. I feel like I'm very caring. Um, about the individual, I'm making sure her needs are met, um, just being a provider and being very supportive of, uh, supportive of her um, in every way, shape, or form. Oh. You look like you want to ask more. I think I do. So okay. you said you're, you're caring, you're a provider. How, how, like, what's an example of you doing that? Like, how do you show that you care? Um, so me, I like to go out my way and do like the little things. I think the little things uh, matter the most. Um, so if I'm just out um, and I know I'm make a quick trip and go get a 
favorite coffee or if I see some her favorite color, um, just getting things like that. Just to do Every this. time I go to the store <coughs> and I see a pineapple, I buy one home because she likes pineapple. <laughs> and a snack. And yeah, that's what he meant. The small things that I know will just brighten her day. Okay, I like that. You're welcome, mm -hmm. I like yeah. that. Okay, awesome. Go over here. All right. Okay. What was your question again? Uh, what's your best emotional quality? So my best emotional quality is probably the control I have over my emotions. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not like a man that lets emotions get the best of them. You know, I'm always thinking twice about things, left, right, up, down. Choose him. Um, just having control because I think once upon a time I didn't have control of my emotions, oh, but now I do, everyone. and it's like I've grown a lot since then. And I think that's definitely my most Im important emotional thing is to have control over my uh, emotions. Okay. For sure. I agree. Yeah, definitely. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Choose okay. him! Yeah. All right. <laughs> and guys, do we have a question to ask her? Uh, yes, I do. So, um, some people would say, like, their past relationships are regrets. Um, I personally don't look at it like that. I like to think of it as, like, lessons learned. Um, there's th uh, different things. Um, that you could take away from a relationship mm -mm. to kind of learn um, something you did right or something that could have been done better. So I would have to say my question to you is, what is a lesson learned um, in terms of like growth from that you could take away from your past relationship? That's a great question. Um, I think just overall patience. Um, in the past, hey, when I was younger, yeah. I used to be really impulsive and impatient with my emotions and just how I would react to things. But from my past relationships and other people that I've talked to, um, I've definitely learned how to you be more to patient, just peace. wait before <laughs> I act or speak on something, because acting out of emotion is just not good. And I always seem to regret it. So just being more patient. Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, any questions over here? Yeah, so what do you feel like you add to a relationship personally? That's a great question. Um, I think I'm very positive, I'm very happy all the time, very nurturing, giving, very receptive as well, um, easily adaptable. So if there is something that I'm not particularly good at that my man or my boyfriend, my husband wants to see more of me, I'm easily adaptable to love do it. that for him. I love it. Yeah. I love that word, adapt. I love yeah. it. Yeah, adapt. I love it. <laughs> he loves it here. Okay. All right. So I am going to have you pop one of the guy's balloons based off of what you've heard so far. We know who you pop. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So why do we end up popping his balloon? Um, I popped because, well, you're, you're handsome, of course. I loved okay. all of your answers. Um, I would say it just goes back to emotions. I feel like anyone could do anything like they could go out of their way and you know do stuff i feel like just knowing how to control your emotions it's more like mental rather than like actions yeah i don't know if that makes sense oh, yeah. but i think emotionally like that's that comes first he answered in his own someone, love language knowing how to be receptive to them and yeah just yeah i understand that <laughs> I don't that know was that just that was just uh something i had to Quick on my toes, just say something real quick. I didn't want to keep you waiting. You're absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Thank um, you. you have a beautiful aura around, surrounding you, and you've just been smiling this whole time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. You flirt with Let's your girl. Bring our guy on up here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so any final they questions between together. either one of you? I got one. Um, do you like traveling, and are you opposed to someone that doesn't currently live in Phoenix, but maybe possibly or actually gearing towards moving to Phoenix? I love to travel, and if you are possibly thinking of moving to Phoenix, then that's good. Definitely. Where do you live now? Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, I've never yeah. been to North Carolina. That's so. cool. Yeah, got a reason to come. Yeah. I work for the airliner, so I fly free, all that kind of oh, stuff like oh, that. So, yeah. I'm mobile for sure. Super awesome. mobile. Definitely. Oh, awesome. Also, you have me? He can move around for free. <laughs> he can move y'all around for free. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Billy D. Yes. This is a great match. Kids? No. Do you Perfect. have kids? No kids. Okay. Yeah, no kids. All right. So my final question, is it going to be a yes for you for her? It's a definite yes. Oh, is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match! Yes! <laughs> 
I'll take this Shake mic and you guys can go on off. Yeah, let's give it up for them. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.